Hello again, everybody. This tutorial is going to be about how to diagnose electronic problems, whether it's headlamps, whether it's horns, whether it's uh, computers. doesn't really make a difference. The concept is the same. And if you remember this rule that I'm showing you right now, it'll really cut down your troubleshooting time and it'll really solve m most of your problems. And what I wrote here is, if this is the problem, what will be the condition? Let me rephrase that and let me analyze that. What I mean is, any problem that you have, let's say in this scenario, we have parking lamps. So obviously we have, we have two in the rear, two in the rear, and we have two in the front. First thing when you troubleshoot, Whatever it would be, horn circuits, headlamps, parking uh, uh, lamps, whatever it is, you have to ask yourself one question. What is working and what is not working? That's important. The fact that you know what is working can cut down your troubleshooting time, maybe about 50%. And let me show that what I'm saying from words into picture. We have a problem here. Let's say parking lamps, two front parking lamps are not working. I made about four different videos outside and I showed you about the, the, the fuses, the relays, and, and I showed you how to test for it by measuring, me, by making measurements and seeing where current is applied. As I said, just because you have 12 volts here and 12 volts on the other side does not mean you have current, does not mean the circuit is functioning. In order for the circuit to function, you have to have current. And that's why I always um, teach all my videos current. After current, then you can deduce and see where voltages are. So what I'm saying is, if you have a problem with your parking lamps, again, parking lamps, again, the front two do not work. Basically, these two are, are out. Let's ask ourselves, what is working? So we know there's four of them. These two are not working, but these two are working. Now, let's work from there. I gave you a rule that I have. I've been an electronics technician and an automotive t um, diagnostic technician with uh, Chevy and other uh, uh, corporations. And this is the rule that I apply. And you will see in electronics is different from mechanical. Mechanical, visually, you can see the problems. You can see bad CV joints, ball joints, bad rotors, uh, uh, brake pads. You can see it. Fuel pressure, you have to measure fuel pressure. But Visually, mechanically, you can see electronics is a whole new ball game. You cannot see electrons flow. You can measure it, you can measure the signals and all that, but it's a much harder, much harder profession and skill. But if you if you understand what I'm saying, it'll help you cut down your time. You don't have to be professional at it, but these hints will hopefully help you. We're focusing on these two right now because we know the other parking lamps are working. If you, let's go over the circuit one more time, like I did in the other videos. Hot at all time means we have 12 volts here, 12 volts here. This fuse is in under hood. There are two panels, one under the hood, one by the dashboard. Current will go here, follow the blue arrows, actually. We're putting the switch manually. We're putting it in a park. And we're putting it in headlamps. So there's a connection right here. Current will flow here. And also interior lights, but also current will flow. Here, follow this. Here's the key. Key components. Focus on key components. Whatever I have circled are key components. The fuse over here. The switch. The two fuses. Notice this uses two fuses. Notice 10 amps each. And <coughs> for each bulb over here. Two fuses. The current will flow into each one after here. Then it splits up, and guess what? It goes through another fuse. As I pointed out before, there's only one fuse for these two. But this has two fuses, whatever reason. So, we're going to go over here, and we're going to deduct 
from what I just said. If this is the problem, what will be the condition? Ask yourself this. The back lights, what we said, are working. We know the front lights are not working, parking lights. So we're going to go component by component, and we're going to apply this theory that I have in electronics. Now, look at each component. The fuse over here. We said the fuse gives current to flow and the switch gives current to flow. If this is the problem, if this fuse is the problem, what will be the condition? If this fuse is blown, I have 12 volts over here, I have zero volts over here, it's blown, <clears throat> right? What will be the problem? Well, trace it. That means, as you see, these will not work, and all these will not work. If all four will not work, can the, so that can the, this fuse be the problem? Absolutely not. Let's go this way. Again, applying this theory. If this is the problem, if this switch is the problem, what will the, the condition be? Well, here we have 12 volts here. We have 12 volts over here. We go over here at zero volts. But besides that, we go over here. The switch is, is, is it, 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 we're going, we, we're assuming the switch is okay. We go over here, over here, and current flows through all of them. Now, if this would be the problem, what will, what will happen? The condition would be, again, none of them would be lit. It's common to all. Therefore, can this headlamp switch that's in park be the problem? Absolutely not. Because all of them would be off. So far, these two, we deducted, we took them out of the circuit. Let's go again. Main components, main components, main components. Two fuses. If this fuse was the problem, would be blown, what will be the effect? What will be the condition? Well, if this was blown, right, then this one will not work. However, this one will work. And that means all of these will work. But, as we see, this is not our case because these both in the back in the rear work, but these do not work. Can this be the, the, the cause? Absolutely not. Let's go another one, main component. If this is blown, if this is, again, if this is the problem, what will be the condition? Well, this will not work. Can this work? Yes. Can these two work? Yes. They're in a separate path. Therefore, can this be the problem? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're focusing on these two not working. If this is blown, these two can work. So we take that out of the way. We, take, we took these two main components out. We took this main component out. We took this main component out. Let's focus again. These two are out. Here we go again. Main component. The current flowed this way. The current flowed to this, separating this branch and that branch. If this fuse is blown, measure 12 volts. Wherever you see 12 volts, I measure 12 volts. I come over here and I measure 0 volts. At the bulbs or at the other side of the fuse. One side measures 12 volts. The other side measures 0 volts. And open. This is blown. Can this fuse be the problem? Plug it into the formula. If this fuse is the problem, what will be the condition? If this fuse is blown, look at the path. This one will not work. And this one will not work. So, if this fuse is blown... Can both of these not be lit? The answer is absolutely yes. You have now analyzed the circuit. Once you come to the conclusion that, that this one is the culprit, it could be that both of them are out, rare, rare. It could be that this line is open, could be, but we're focusing on main components. Electronic diagnostic troubleshooting is main components first. Then the wiring and everything. If I would not have 12 volts here, 
but I would have, tw let's say, 12 volts over here, then I suspect the wiring. But if the, the wiring is over here, all four will not work. If this is not, if this is open over here, all four will not work. So we can't suspect that. We can suspect something over here in this wiring. So, like I'm telling you, this electronics has helped me for 30 years. When you say, if this is not, if this is not good, what will be the condition? Will this work? Will this not work? When you understand that, you will cut down your troubleshooting time. And you will be much better in this skill. It is a tough skill. And um, it is one that really you have to work on. And gradually you, be, you develop a talent for it, a skill for it. As you see all these things. So hopefully, I hope you came away with some knowledge from here. And don't forget this rule. It will help you. In one shot, if I go and, I, and a customer tells me, these, these two, hey, you know what, Joseph, my two front brake lights are not working, I pull out the schematic. I say, well, no way this could be the cause. Why waste my time? Why these cannot be the cause. Switch cannot be the cause. If switch would be the cause, nothing would work. I go, boom, right to here. But if this is blown, there could be a short also. Keep that in mind. It could be drained. Well, keep that in mind also. Anyway, like I said, I hope that you go to my, uh, my uh, channel um, of Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph, please. And try to download whatever video you want. I hope you find something to, uh, to, you know, that will really give you knowledge you'll be interested in. And a happy customer is the best customer. Remember, you don't want to tell a, ever tell a customer that I ever had to say, you know what, if, it, if the problem comes back, just bring it back. It's a warranty. You don't want to say that to a customer because it, it's an inconvenience to the customer. So for her to bring her, her, her car back or him, maybe she has to take her kids to school. Maybe she has to take it to work and she has to take a day off for that. It's an inconvenience. It's better to spend more hours diagnosing and troubleshooting and getting it right the first time they're doing it quickly and making the customer come back, which is an inconvenience for that customer. This, you will increase uh, give, uh, your business and you will have a better reputation if you spend more time diagnosing. Pull out the schematic and diagnose like I just tell you. This applies to any horn circuits, uh, headlamps like I, like I just told you, PCMs, BCMs, anything. Just say, if this is the problem, what will be the, what will be the effect in the circuit? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I hope you go to my channel because in the beginning, the views are tough because my videos don't show up, uh, obviously, on top and all that. That's why I keep on promoting my uh, channel. Um, like I said, uh, Electronic Automotive Schematics by Joe. So please go there and try to find something that is to your liking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.